Hey everybody, it's Greg Beckty here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the high-end skin retouching look in less than a minute. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are in Adobe Photoshop, and we're on the background layer. So we wanna duplicate this layer. So there's a couple ways to do that. You can right-click on this layer, and you can say Duplicate Layer. If you're on a Mac, we'll just, just leave it like that, but if you're on a Mac, you could say Command-J. Not sure what it is on the PC. All right, let's get started. So we're on the background copy. We made a duplicate. We're gonna go up to Filter in a second, so the first thing we wanna do is hit Command I. And you can see it looks a little weird. We're gonna go up to Filter, we're gonna to go to Other, we're gonna to go to High Pass, and you can use a couple different ratios here. You can use a radius of anywhere from 23 to 25. I'm gonna pick a radius of 24. And again, you can see that that looks a little bit weird. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we're gonna choose Vivid Light. And then you can see it changes a little bit there. Now, one more thing we want to do, go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And again, you can play with this radius a bit between three to five. I'm just going to go with a radius of four. So it's not looking the greatest right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a mask over this layer. So you can hit the Option or the Alt key on the PC. Come down here at the bottom where you see this little square with a circle in it, a rectangle. Click there. Now we've created a mask. So we've masked that whole layer. And if you just want to change this, again, you can click Command I and you can see what it looks like. So one thing I want you to pay attention to when I zoom in is around the areas of the lips and the nose, you can see there's a really unflattering highlight. So try to avoid these areas when I show you what we're going to do next. So Command I again on that mask to get rid of it. So what we want to do is we just want to paint on areas of the skin to give it a bit of a softer look. So we're going to use the brush. B is the shortcut for the brush. Make sure you're on white in your foreground on your left. You can hit the D key to get uh, white and black and X to toggle back and forth. So we're on white and for your brush settings, opacity 100, flow of about 50 should be good. And then you wanna make sure you have a soft brush. So one way is control option. You can drag left and right. You can see your brush goes from smaller to bigger. Also, if you go up or down, you can see that changes. So we want a soft brush. And we can also use our bracket keys to, to do that. All right, so now we just wanna paint the areas of the skin to give it a bit of a smoother look. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. And we'll do a before and after in a second here. So all you have to do is just lightly brush over these areas, avoiding those areas we talked about around the nose and around the lips. And I'll just make my brush a little smaller for some of these areas. And like I said, we'll just do this really quick and then I'll show you a little bit before and after. So I'm just trying to avoid those areas. Now there's lots of different ways to retouch skin. And if you have more time, you can get into frequency separation. I have a video about that on my channel as well. But right now we're just doing a quick little skin retouch here in this video. Just one technique of, of many different techniques that you can use. And we're just gonna paint around the face. You can do this on the whole body if you wish. I just wanna give you an idea of what this looks like really quickly. And so you wanna avoid the lips, the nostrils, that area on the nose, the eyes. You wanna avoid those areas. You want certain areas to remain sharp. So I'm just gonna zoom in so I can do a little bit of a better job here. Also, we can look at our mask and see what that looks like in a second. So I'll show you how to do that as well. And this doesn't work perfect in all areas. So you may wanna look at the before and after. And if you see an area that doesn't look as good, you can always just back that off by painting black back on that mask. So let's just have a look at the mask here see what we see. So you can see there's certain areas here that I missed. So you can go over this on the mask and just make sure that it's all even. So that's all you have to do there. So again, option on that mask and it comes back. Now let's do the before and after and see if there's any areas that got worse. So I could see at the bottom of her chin there, we probably don't need that there. So I'm gonna click on the mask, I'm gonna hit the X key and on the black, and I'm just gonna take that off the bottom of her chin there. But overall, if we just zoom in and we look at the skin, and we click on and off here, you can see that it's smoothed out the skin. Now we might've gone a little too far. So this is on its own layer. So we could take the opacity slider, just click over the opacity and slide that down to say, let's go to 50% and we'll compare that. So toggling that on and off, toggling it on and off. And so that's one way to do this. So let me just recap how we do that. So we'll get rid of that layer. We wanna create a new layer. So I'm just gonna zoom out here. So Command J, to create a duplicate layer. Also, you can right click and create duplicate layer. So we have another way of doing that. So once you have that layer, 
Command I to invert that layer. Then come up to Filter, go Other, High Pass. And anywhere, I'd say about 22 to 25. I just picked a 24 radius there. You can experiment with that. Not looking the greatest right there. So you can take the blend mode and go to Vivid. Oh, I hit the wrong one. Vivid Light. So now we've put the High Pass on. We've changed it to Vivid Light. One last step. We're going to go Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you can do about a three to five radius. I'm going to go with a four. And then we're going to create a mask. So Option, click, and we have a mask right there. And then all we have to do is hit the B key for our brush. We could even pick a flow of 100 if we wanted to. So opacity 100, flow 100, make sure you're on white. So X, make sure white is on the foreground. And then, like I said, just brush areas of the skin. And then keep in mind that you can adjust the opacity of this layer. So you can see how quickly this is once you know how to create this uh, duplicate. It's pretty easy. And then we can just paint over. And like I said, this is just one way of doing some skin retouching. If you have more time, you can do frequency separation. And again, like I said, avoid certain areas like the nostrils, the edge of the nose, the lips, the eyes. You just want it in certain parts of the skin. But it see, it doesn't look good there. So X, and we can take it away right there. So it's not going to work in every area. But for the most part, it does give you a smoother look. And then we can take that down, let's say, to 60%. And we can toggle that on and off. So that's before. I'll let you zoom. I'll zoom in here so you can see that. So this is before. And this is after at 60%. If you find that's too much, just play with the opacity. You can take it down to 40. You can take it down to 30. As much as you feel as necessary so that it looks natural, but that you've just done a little skin retouching. So that's less than a minute without any kind of plugins. And it's that easy. All right. Thanks for watching this video. If you're not already a subscriber, I come out with two videos a week. So make sure you subscribe for free updates. Just click on that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Also, if you found this helpful, share this video on the web, in photography forums, and groups, Facebook groups, wherever you want, Twitter. <laughs> anyway, it's Craig back to here again. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can post them down below. All right, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.